guys, I am working with my lithops, or was thinking about them today and writing about them, if I can get this camera to stay stable here. And I was realizing that we really only show off our plants, most of us, when they're looking great and happy and good, which is obviously fun. But then the newcomers really don't know when their plants, something starts happening with their plants, what is going on, if it's good or bad or indifferent. So I have a lot of lithops and they are one of my absolute favorites. Actually, that's probably a lie. I have so many favorites, it's ridiculous. But I really, really love them. And um, I have multiples that I've got from really great growers, some from big box stores, and they have come to me in all different um, conditions, some of which have come to me pretty much dead and never revived, others revived. And I have, I was just gonna toss out some dead ones that I've been babying, and I thought, you know what, I should make a video um, because we just don't usually show the sad things. So, how do you know if a lithop is really a goner? or if they're just in a really shriveled phase of life. Okay. Sorry, I have the camera like this instead of pointing at me so that I can get a good, good view of these. Okay, so this little guy here, very, very shriveled the top there. However, this little guy is firm. When I squeeze him, nothing happens. This very outside edge is a tiny, there's a tiny bit of give, but that's just because it's shriveling and feeding the inner. There's a little baby growing inside of here, and it will, these leaves will spread, and this tiny little baby will pop out, and it is very, very firm and healthy when you squeeze it. To contrast, we have this little guy. And I'm sorry, I cannot tell if this is focusing. The difference is this guy, when I go to squeeze him and see is there a baby or anything good going on, it's all, see that there? So there's no saving this. And this guy has been in dry, this guy came to me sick and has been in dry um, pumice and a potting mix for about eight months and just slowly, slowly shriveled more and more into this. So this guy is a goner and he's going to go in the trash. This little guy looked about, here's another one that came to me very sick. It had been overwatered, and it just couldn't recover. It's very squishy. It's starting to get kind of crunchy because it's been sitting there. It's a goner. This little guy, which I wish I had a before photo, this little guy looked, again, he's in my little hospital. Only the absolute sickest ones I have went in here. And he, I really didn't think he was going to survive. Well, a few months of not watering and good sunshine, and look at this little beauty. This little, this is the old leaves that are dying back and this new tiny little lithop has come. However, this guy, when he came to me, was about this size. So, he went from this in one growth cycle to this. That's how sick he was. He only had enough energy to produce this tiny little baby. But, he survived, so it's great. So just because it keeps shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, don't panic. If it's still firm, keep taking care of it. Okay, now I'm going to have to tip because these ones I had were really easy to pull up, but this guy's really, really going for it. This guy was about this size, if you can see the difference here. When I planted him, maybe a little bit bigger, actually. Yeah, he was. And when I got him, he was horribly sunburned and scarred, and I really didn't think he was going to survive. However, while he shrunk a lot, he is happy as a lark. These are the old leaves that die back. That's normal. I'll peel them off, and he is actually about ready for a little bit of water. And he's going to get taken out of here along with this other beautiful little baby and put in happier pots with happier lithops. Okay, now,
here's another little guy I just thought you know what while I have these out of their pots see how shriveled this is this little guy is happy I know he doesn't look happy but he's just these old outer leaves are feeding the little baby right inside there these um, came from a big box store um, and they had been overwatered um, just not taken good care of at all and so they're pretty much all making babies that are quite a lot smaller than they were these were really big lithops I mean they were about this big and you can see this is one of the new ones that came out of one of the biggest ones that was about this big round. You can see how much smaller that is. And if you didn't know that's what was happening, you might just think it's dying altogether. But be patient. Some of them split a lot more than others when they are the healthier they are, the more they split typically, like this. Um, that's because the baby on the inside, the new leaves, I shouldn't say baby, but the new leaves on the inside are about the same size, if not bigger, than um, the original plant, which is as it should be. They should um, stay the same size or grow until they reach the size that they stay at. And so the skin splitting off to the side show that this was um, a nice big baby that's coming. New set of leaves, rather. I keep calling them babies because they always just, it feels like it's birth and a baby to me. <laughs> but um, the new leaves, so this is great. However, if they're not as happy, a lot of times it'll look more like this. So the outside is all shriveling, it's still feeding that baby, but it doesn't actually have to split because the baby is so small, the mom, the the big leaves can just stay. Oh, my kitty's going to try and knock over my camera here. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Don't claw my lips. Okay, but since I'm talking about her, I'll have to, have to give you a little peek here. No, 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 no. Hey. Hey, say hi. This is Polly, and she's very very happy <laughs> okay back to the lip lips alrighty kitty <laughs> so if your lithop is shrinking um, rapidly or slowly but it's not split like this give it a little squeeze and if there is a hard if it's either hard altogether <sighs> Or, sorry, my kitty's after them again. If, if it's just totally firm or just the outside little edges here are a little bit squishy, but then you feel a very firm center, it's okay, probably. It is probably working on a new set of leaves and perhaps got stressed. And the, the new set of leaves are just not quite as big as the older set were. But don't panic. kitty rescue again and don't water them when you do want to water them is when the leaves are all dried up like this and this is uh, this guy came out of his little shell and this is a really good healthy um, lithop he, he was he's approximately the same size as he was um, before which is great. These guys are actually about ready for a drink. They are kind of shrinking into the to the dirt here. You can see this one right here. I hope this is focusing. See how the top is sunk in just a little bit and the edges are raised? It's just a little bit dehydrated and there is nothing. It is so much better for them to be a little dehydrated than to be um, overwatered. Um, but if you're like, oh no, they're wrinkling. How do I know if the wrinkling is because they're making new leaves or if the wrinkling is because they're overwatered or if the wrinkling is because they're underwatered? A good way to tell is when the edges, just leave them. You can give them a little misting or something when the leaves are falling off like this before um, they shrivel up. But if the tops and sides are getting a little shrivelly, you can see this is a little pruney feeling. Looks like you kind of soaked them in the bathtub. That's 
that's a good indication, but it can still be confusing for newcomers as to whether it is wilting because it needs a drink or shriveling, sorry, because it needs a drink or shriveling because it is overwatered. But when they do this and they um, kind of sink into the soil and they flatten out and have a little bit of a concave top with edges for many varieties, that is a really good indication that it's okay to give them a little drink. Um, Here's another, which this one I kind of pulled off already. This little guy here was completely covered up this morning with these little thin paper-like shell that is the remainder of its outer leaf. And it was completely covered. So I just gently popped this off because it's thin and completely dried. And there's a beautiful little baby. But if you had been looking at it this morning, it really, it can be deceptive. I'm trying to see if I can put these back on so you can see what it looks like if they grow and do not burst through their paper husk and you, they can just look like a little dead blob. So before you panic, gently take a pair of tweezers or your fingernails and see if you can remove the little paper husk and see if you have a happy lip up. Alrighty, if, I'm not sure if this is gonna focus. These guys may be too small, but you can see these here. This is new growth. Um, they shed their outer leaves a while and this one actually had babies. This is what it actually looks like when they make babies and don't just reproduce their own leaves. So this was, this was the mother lip up here and it was all one. And then when the leaves split and when this opened up, out came two little babies, as well as the original. Actually, I'm wrong. This is one of the original mother leaves, so it was split this way. Um, but either way, these are actual babies. The mama is here, and the babies are here, and they all came out of the same plant. These guys, you can see they're wrinkled, but they're doing just fine. They were misted well, a few, week or two ago, but also you probably wouldn't kill them if you watered them right now because they are still um, nice and shriveled, and this is a really, really aerated um, mix. Alrighty, um, I think that's all for today. I have others, but those are the main cycles that they're in and the main things that I wanted to show you right quick before it was too late and they're moving off into another cycle. I hope that helped you a little bit if you are a lithop lover. And I hope you have a wonderful day.